This problem requires some clarification of the process scheme. Our reactants are a mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen on a one-to-one -one molar basis. So you can choose as a basis one mole hydrogen and one mole CO, which will give you two moles of this gas phase that we refer to as water gas. It is mixed with hydrogen in a steady state flow reactor where the water gas shift reaction is used to produce even more hydrogen to shift the ratio of carbon monoxide and hydrogen so that the hydrogen becomes larger than the amount of carbon monoxide. The equilibrium gas phase mixture that is the result of this reaction taking place at 800 Kelvin and whatever pressure is now cooled in order to condense and separate all the water from the gas phase mixture. The purified gas mixture is now passed through an adsorption tower for some further purification. The carbon monoxide mole fraction that's given in Smith van Essen Abbott refers to the mole fraction in the gas mixture after all the water has been condensed but before the adsorption of any gases took place. In your stoichiometric table, you will now need to develop expressions for mole fractions on a total basis, which includes the water and that is present in this reaction when equilibrium is achieved, as well as the mole fractions on a water-free basis in order to solve all the unknowns in your problem. Once you know the mole fractions of the gas phase components at equilibrium in your equilibrium reactor, you can calculate this actual composition by term and compare it to the equilibrium constant of the carbon deposition reaction at 800 Kelvin to see whether it will actually take place in the forward direction. If your answer is that this reaction will not take place, ask yourself over what pressure range will carbon deposition occur at the equilibrium mixture composition in your reactor. Would the precipitation of carbon in this reactor actually be a bad thing and why? Will pressure affect the equilibrium composition of this reaction? And if not, why is it advantageous in industry to operate that reactor at as high a pressure as feasible?